Shalom. First and foremost, I will give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. The peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This GMS Arkansas come out week in and week out on these highways and byways to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America, man. AKA Babylon, AKA Egypt, AKA Sodom. We are here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, Jamaica, the Levi, the so-called Haitians, uh, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Gad, or the so-called North American Indians, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, Zebulon, the Guatemala to Panama, uh, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Asher is Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali is Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one third the elect. The two thirds are set up for the destruction, man. You know, and the prophecies are happening. Uh, we, see, we see the prophecies happening, man. Let's see uh, the second Ezra. Second Ezra. 9 and 1. It says, he answered, it said then, it said, he answered me then, it said, measure thou the time diligently in thyself. Right? So we're measuring the time, we're watching for events. We look at the past events, the present, and then we, we know what the scriptures say about future events. Right? And we're watching, man. We're watching alternative news feeds. We're watching brothers uh, uh, put videos up. You know, and just looking at the news, man, because that, that's the prophecies that are unfolding. You see it constantly every day. And it says, and, and when thou seest part of the signs past, when I told thee before, then shall thy understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will visit the world which he made. So Yahweh Shai is getting ready to come back to redeem his people, right? And to visit this earth, meaning he's getting ready to punish the people of this planet, right? So you, we're watching for these prophecies, man. And we, we, we diligently search in the scriptures. That's how we know when the prophecies take place or what's happening, man. The everyday uh, Joe six packs that walk around have no clue what's going on. All they know is uh, uh, it's time to shop, you know? You look around downtown now, all you see really is like Edomites who, who live off the card, man. Who probably don't even have government jobs, man. The normal people you see that's normally down here, they're not down here. Because they have this thing which is called the government shutdown right now. So, you know, people, a lot of people didn't get paid this past uh, Friday, man. You know? But you see, you still see uh, uh, Edomites coming down here because what? They, they, might, they might not have those government jobs, but they, they have those, those cards, man. Those, those, those uh, cards that they can max out, you know? And it says, therefore, when there shall be earthquakes and uproars of people in the world, and with this government shutdown, believe me, there's gonna be uproars when February come, if, if these, uh, uh, Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans don't receive uh, uh, their food stamps, man. You're gonna see an uproar, man. Earthquakes, earthquakes in diverse places, man. Earthquakes are happening constantly, day in and day out, man. Day in and day out. It says, it says, verse four, then thou shalt well understand that is the most high of, most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And he used who? His prophets, man, to speak those things, man. Noah spoke those things. Moses spoke those things. Daniel, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, man. They spoke these things that should happen, and they, and they happened, man. Uh, let's get this scripture. Amos, chapter 3 and 7 uh, Amos 3 and 7 surely the Lord power Yahweh would do nothing but reveal it 
his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. So the secrets and the mysteries of the scriptures, the understanding of this doctrine, the Lord reveals to the, the prophets, man. He don't reveal it to every, uh, uh, every average everyday Joe, man. He reveal it to his men, and his men go out and they and they and they warn the people. They've been doing it since when you go back to time of Noah, man. Noah preached a uh, circle a hundred uh, uh, plus years, man. 120 plus years, man. And nobody believed in what he was saying. And then what? The flood came, man. And then they beat at the door of the ark, man. And the ark door was closed, right? So we out here, we out here blowing this trumpet now, man. You know? It says, go back to six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Question. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So all the things that are going on that what you think is, 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 is bad and the devil is doing, the Lord is orchestrating, man. He's blowing the trumpet, man. You people are... are are, are walking around, you have no fear of the Lord. It tells you in Proverbs, the first chapter, man, the fear of the Lord, man, that's the beginning, man, of that knowledge, man. You must fear your how about you now shy. And soon come, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna amp it up to where, where you're gonna, you're gonna be humble and you're gonna fear, man. But the Lord also is gonna take out two thirds, man. Surely the Lord would do nothing but reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. This word is precious, man. He's not going to give give the understanding to everybody, you know, because Jake within themselves, hey, man, just like in the wilderness, man, they didn't want to listen to the Lord. They wanted to go off their own counsel. And that's the same thing these people do now, man. They walk around. All they want to do is shop, man. All they want to do is have fun. Watch TV and eat, man. That's all they do. Eat and watch TV and shit, man. You know? Uh, let's see. Deuteronomy said precept look in Deuteronomy so look in Deuteronomy 29th chapter Let's see what's going on Deuteronomy 29 and 29 the secret things belong unto the Lord our power, Yahweh our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. Ooh, the things that are revealed are the secrets of this doctrine, man. Because we know, we know it's going to be, according to the scriptures, there's going to be, what, sedition among men. We know through the scriptures that Esau is going to implement an RFID chip. He's going to push on the mass scale of the people. We understand that it's going to be a thermonuclear war. We understand that World War III is coming soon, but we are in the midst of World War III now. It just hadn't climaxed, man. You know, it says, the secret things belong unto the Lord, our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. So he said, do all the words of this law, man. Because he told you in Deuteronomy, if you did all the works of this law, he will, he will bless you. Then if you didn't do the works of this law, there will be curses upon you. And that's why our people, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, who are the Israelites of the Bible, have, they, they live in these uh, ghetto-infested neighborhoods. They are the last hired, the first fired, and they don't understand why. It's because you have went against the power, man. You have went against these laws and these statutes and these commandments, and you believed in the system that they, that these Edomites have put forth. When I say Edom, when you go into Edom, that means red. Who are the red people on the planet? So-called white man, right? He get mad, he get red. You slap him, he gets red. He is the red man of the scriptures. He runs this whole society, man. This is Babylon, man. This is ancient Rome coming back. When you look at all the structures of this place, it's ancient Rome, man. And the Edomites are running it. And we and we are in uh, being paying servant we're being servitude un under uh this system, man. You know? And that's why you have right now with the government shut down, man. This e this Edomite is playing uh I'll tell you what he's doing right here in the scriptures. Uh let me get. Let me get, uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 4, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God, man. So that's, that's what these Edomites do, man. 
Look at who you got in office, man. They got like the, the most ignorant person they can put in there. You, you think he wasn't set up? Shit, he's a, uh, 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 he's not even smarter than uh, the last uh, one that was before the last one. Shit, he wouldn't even, he, he's, he's worse than uh, George Jr., man. Trump has uh, filed for bankruptcy, man, more, more than once. So that you know, if he filed for bankruptcy, then he's used to losing money. So what more if you put an idiot like that in charge of your country, what he's gonna do? Eventually it's gonna come down, but it's all the power y'all about shooting y'all shot. Didn't matter who you put in there, the end game is America's going to fall, man. And, and, and they got the right person in there because he's a proud man and he's arrogant, man, to take you people right on out of here, man. It says, who, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God, man. And he think he's God. That's why he called for a government shutdown. Just one man got the power to shut the whole nation down when you have a, 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 a cabinet of what they call senators, which all that goes back to a uh, Roman Empire. It, it speaks to that in Maccabees. Uh, Second Maccabees about Senate, right? It's like, do he really got to go through them? So he looks at himself as above all them, man. But pride, go, you know, the pride, that's, go, that's what's going to get him destroyed, man. You know? This country is being ran by you Edomites, man. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, Second Ezra's it's like it. Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that which follows, man. So it says Esau, man. Esau is the end of the world. Who is Esau, man? Who is Esau? He said is the end of the world. Right? Now, is it the end of the whole world that the world is going to be no more? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation passing away and another generation coming, but the earth abided forever. So the scriptures say that the earth abide forever. So when it says uh, 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 Esau, the Esau is the end of the world. That means this, this uh, eon, man. That, that, that world there is an eon, right? This certain uh, uh, period of time, his rulership. It's the end of his rulership, and it says Jacob is the beginning of that which followed. So who, who, is, who is Esau, man? Who is Esau? Uh, Genesis. Genesis 25, 25 and uh, 19. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, right? Right? So, so I, Abraham was Isaac's father. And Isaac was 40 years old when, when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethel, the Syrian of Padan around, Padan around, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife because she was barren, right? She couldn't have kids, right? And, and the Lord Yahweh was entreated of him and Rebekah, uh, uh, his wife conceived. So he heard the prayers of Isaac, man, for his wife. It says, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? Why, why, is, this, why is this rumbling going on in my stomach, man? It says... And she inquired of the Lord Yahweh, and the Lord Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So it was two, two nations in her womb, and two manner of people, man. Meaning what? They're going to come out, they're going to they're gonna be different in physical stature, mental stature. Their conduct will be different, right? They will have different conduct, right? Okay. 
who is Esau, man? All right. And it says, um, and the one shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. It says the elder shall serve the younger. So, yeah, that's a, that's a clue when you listen at it. It tells you that the elder is going to serve the younger, right? And it says, um, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they call his name Esau, right? Esau, Shashua, means wasted away is he, man. He was red, man. He had no, he had no pigment. You know? Red, man. So that first son came out, and it says the elder is gonna serve the younger. So according to that prophecy, that first son that came out was gonna serve the, uh, 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 the next son. He came out red, man. You know? Like a hairy garment. But back in the day they used to have those garments of badger skins and they would dye them. So he looked like he looked like uh, one of those those uh dyed garments, man. A shashua, man. Like he ain't got no pigment, he don't look like us. So how did everybody else look? When you go into Genesis second chapter, it says we were created from the dust of the ground, man. And when you dig into the ground, what color is the soil, man? It's brown. Like I'm looking at soil right now. The top soil is even brown. So the darker you go into the soil, the deeper you go, the darker it's gonna get. So the people of that land were brown, dark brown, light brown, the dark skinned people. But Esau came out red, man. And it says, and after that came him, he, his brother out, he his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Meaning what? That's symbolic of him bringing him down. Now, we in the time right now, right? This time we're in right now, this is 2019, man. And when you read Job 9 and 24, you read Job 9 and 24, it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. It says, if not, where and who is it? If it ain't him, who is it? So the earth is given into the, the scriptures say the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Now we in this society called America, man. Who runs this society, man? The so-called white man, man. He's in charge, man. He, he, he's your president. He looks like your senators. Every every so often they'll throw uh, some jakes in there, really to shut Jake them up. Because Jake them always say, well, we don't have no people to speak for us. Really, them senators that y'all throw in there, they're not speaking for you either. Because they're getting paid off to, to follow protocol, man. And who knows, man? The spirit, they might be Edomites anyway. They just might be dark-skinned Edomites, man. Because you have that. When you read in Matthew the uh, 13th uh, chapter. You know? This earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. The head men that run this planet, they are so-called white men, man. The Rothschilds, man. The DuPonts, the Rockefellers, man. These men are the, of the banking families. They own, they own everything, man. They own all the banks, man. They own all the all the diamond districts, man. Everything that, that's of any importance, man, they at the top own it. You know, Israel, Israelites as a whole, we don't own nothing. Every now and then, if you want to sell your soul, they'll let you have a few million dollars, which is, you know, up to a hundred million. And if you are a sell out a, a, a so-called black woman, they'll let you get even more. Look at Oprah Winfrey. They let her, they got her in her place. You know, they gave her a billion dollars. But the so-called white man runs this planet, man. You know, Esau. And it says, and after that, back in Genesis 26, 25 and 26, and after that, that, that came out of his brother and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Man. So Jacob, meaning uh, uh, supplant, man, Yaiqua. And it says, and Isaac was three score years old when he buried him. It says, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. It says he was a cunning hunter, meaning what? He was cunning, meaning he, he uh, 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 
basically, it says skillful. It goes into being skillful, but also it goes into, let me show you. Because, let me show you something. Mm, Genesis 25. To know, to perceive, to find out, to discern. To know. To recognize. Cunning Hunter. Right? How did he get that skill? Check this out. It says, uh, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the tent. So it says Jacob was a plain man, meaning he was complete. So when you really go back to it, Esau really, really learned from, from Jacob, man. So Jacob was complete, man. You know, and I'm going to show you. It says he was in the field hunt. Check this out. And it says, and Isaac loved, uh, Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of the venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. So Isaac loved his firstborn son, but Rebekah loved Jacob, man. And here today, when you, when you, when you, when you looking at the differences of the, like I said, the manner of conduct between these two people, you have Jake, Jacob, uh, uh, Jake's love their mama right now today more than they love their fathers, man. And, and that's a prophecy, man. And it says, and Jacob saw pottage, and, and, and Esau came from the field and he was faint, right? He came from the field and he was faint. It said Jacob was side and pottage, meaning side pottage is when you cook the meat, right? When you start to cook the meat. And, and, and it's and you, and you boiling it and it's, it's just turning the, the blood is coming forth from it so that's side and pottage man so jacob was cooking some kind of stew with some meat in it and it said he was complete but esau said he was a skillful hunter 